What is going on, guys? This is the Club of the Man 1993. We're back here for some more baseball news. As just recently, um, on November 14th, 2022, the Cubs announced they have officially released uh, one-time All-Star and five-time Gold Glover Jason Hayward. Uh, who will become a free agent, but the Cubs will still owe him uh, $22 million next year under the terms of his eight-year contract as he was entering the last year of his eight-year contract, which covered the 2016 to 2023 seasons that he had signed with the Cubs back in the 2015-2016 offseason. This came after a season where Hayward was limited to 48 games with a knee injury. Um, Hayward, who's actually only 33 years old, keep forgetting that he's definitely came in young. He was only 20 years old when he made his major league debut. Still remember his big, explosive first career home run he hit in his major league debut against former Cubs starter Carlos Zambrano, aka Big Z, on opening day um, in 2010. Um, definitely had very high expectations. Um, I will be honest, though. I want to say this straight up, straight honesty. I hate to, you know, say it. As a baseball fan, and who had very high hopes for him, for, especially when he first came with the Braves, I'm actually pretty disappointed in Jason Hayward's career. I mean, yes, defensively, he's never been a disappointment. He's always been great as a defender. The bat, though, dear Lord, has it not been good. He had a couple of strong seasons. I believe I thought this guy was going to be, you know, like a 30 homer guy, you know, 20 stolen bases, hit for a decent average, you know, and the defense would be there. I thought that's how he was going to be. Nope. He literally, you know, plummeted in the power surge. Um, but he's still like shown like some signs of like, you know, still being a great defender. Let's still discuss Hayward's, um, you know, career at the Cubs, though. Um, the Cubs, of course, you know, would sign Hayward um, after um, they obviously were clear that the rebuild was over in 2015. Whenever, uh, with all their younger talent that they had f brought up and it was clicking, they got the wild card berth. They overcame both the Pirates in the wild card game. Hate to, hate to see that. And the Cardinals in the NLDS, they were swept by the Mets, but it was clear at that point that the rebuilding stage for the Cubs was over, and now it was time to contend. They went out that offseason, and they signed uh, one-year contracts to Ben Zobrist, who would be the World Series MVP in 2016, and John Lackey. The biggest sign they had that offseason, though, was Jason Hayward who had signed an eight-year, $184 million contract. And he had opt-out options for 2018 and 2019. And again, he was only going on 26 years old at the sign at the time of this contract. Um, at, at, at this time, his defense was excellent. He had, was an, an above-average hitter at the time, even though I thought he could have done better. And I think... His career high in home runs, I think, was in 2012 with the Braves when he hit 27. Now, let me say this too. He has had a history of injuries also. But even when he was healthy, it's like he wasn't quite there. Um, he had stolen over 20 over 20 bases three times a point. So he did have some merit still. Even though he wasn't the superstar we all thought he would be, he had some merit to him. It's, but then unfortunately, um, he just plummeted with the bat. Despite only hitting 13 home runs in his one year with the Cardinals the year before, he did hit 293. Uh, but in his first year with the Cubs in 2016, he hit just 230. And then, of course, you know, he would still be part of, of course, the Cubs World Series winning team despite hitting just 104 in the playoffs. He still, you know, was still, you know, part of, you know, the, the clubhouse and, you know, helped the Cubs, you know, get to uh, the World Series win in that amazing Game 7 against the formerly Cleveland Ind Indians. And he continued to just be great on defense, but once again, just the bat just was never there. Um, 
and just surprise and based on diminishes though um they were still surprised that he never like triggered any um indication of opting out of his contract when he had the option to do so in 2018 and 2019 um of course eventually though again whenever the cubs you know just fell back off the wheel again and they traded away all of their young stars like anthony rizzo uh chris bryant uh javi ba- javi Javier Baez, and of course, just recently, Wilson Contreras, uh, hitting free agency as well, and several others, um, it was time to get the rebuilding process again. Uh, Hayward, though, continued to struggle, and um, with injuries, and, you know, went healthy as well, and then he went on the injured list again in August, never played another game again, but it was announced back in August that the Cubs intended to release Hayward in the offseason. Which, of course, again, now has happened. Um, despite his poor track record, though, he could still attract some interest at just 33 years old. He has a great history, of course, of defense also. Uh, but we'll have to see um, how that happens. With, of course, the, the release of Hayward, though, and now with recent free agent Wilson Contreras, um, you know, now happening. As of now, going to 2023, Kyle Hendricks who has been also rumored to be some trade candidates also as well, is the only member of the Chicago Cubs 2016 World Series champions um, team left on the current roster. They have gone, of course, in complete rebuild mode um, This uh, once again. So yeah, like I said, I'm not surprised the Cubs did this. I just, again, you know, I just got to be honest. You know, I had very high hopes for Hayward. Uh, when he uh, when he first came up with the Braves, 20 years old, young guy, blast off against Carlos Zambrano in his first, um, I don't think it was his first at bat, but his, his first game, uh, his, I think his first hit was a home run. But he did home run his major debut. But um, but yeah, I just had luck for higher expectations for him. Unfortunately, again, he just just hasn't been, been the case. I mean, yes, he's a, he, he was an all-star in his rookie year. He was, I think, a two-time rookie of rookie of the month his rookie season, I believe it was. Um, he's won five Gold Gloves. He's had a couple years where he's had good, decent average, stolen some bases. Um, you know, he had, a, I think, like maybe like two or three twenty-plus homer seasons. I know he had one in 20, 2012 when he had twenty-seven. I think it was twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen. He did he did reach the twenty-one mark, so he got some there. But um, all around is he's just. He's not the superstar I thought he would be, unfortunately. Again, he's only 33 years old. He still could, you know, join a team, you know, and, and be a contributing uh, factor defensively. With the bat, he's not going to really, you know, you know, make us go crazy. Uh, but he still could, you know, again, be a, de- a defensive uh, contribution to another team um, that could be looking for some outfield help, maybe. Um, especially, of course, with him being 33 years old and at the veteran stages of his career, um, he's still got something left. If not, I mean, if they're looking for someone with a bat, though, definitely don't grab him. Defense, though, could be the case. The big question, of course, is always definitely is his health. Again, he does have a history of injuries, so that could be, you know, a, um, a downing factor for sure. Um, but we'll see what happens. You know, hopefully he can at least you know, be a contributing piece to another ball club as well. But the Cubs have decided to, again, move on from him. Uh, but he still will be given the $22 million he is owed uh, in his last season. Definitely not one of the best contracts the Cubs have had, no offense. Definitely a very overrated player uh, making that much money. But, um, you know, we'll see where he goes to next. If he goes anywhere else. But that's my thoughts, guys, on the Cubs releasing Jason Hayward with one year left on his contract. What are you guys' thoughts on this? Have you as well been disappointed with Jason Hayward's career so far? Do you think any other team will pick him up? And if so, who? Do you think it'll be for defensive purposes? Do you think he could, you know, wake up with the bat again? What do you guys think? Make sure you guys leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure, as always, to slap a like on the video and subscribe or comment on my channel. Follow me on Twitter as well at the Club of Demand 93 And until then, guys, I'm checking out. I'll catch you all later. Please stay tuned, as always, for some more baseball news have a great rest of your evening i'll catch you all later peace out everybody yeah, no, I will